So we'll now discuss question number 19. So a block of mass 1 kg is being put is being pulled along the path PQ along the dark line PQ is an elliptical path and force of magnitude 80 Newton is acting along the whole length such that the force is always parallel to this line PQ. Now we have to calculate given that the block is starting from rest here what will be its kinetic energy at Q. So applying work energy theorem work done by all the forces is equal to change in kinetic energy there are two forces acting on this block actually there are three forces acting on this block normal force friction force which is absent so we will not take friction force so normal force gravitational force and force along PQ work done by normal will be zero so we will have work done by gravity plus work done by force F plus work done by normal is equal to change in kinetic energy now what we have to calculate is kinetic energy work done by gravity as the height ascended by the block is 4 meter so the work done by gravity will be minus mgh plus work done by force as work done by force f where f is a constant force of magnitude 18 newton and its direction is also constant so the work done will be force into displacement along the direction of force so we'll have force into displacement along pq s along pq and work done by normal will be zero this will be equal to change in kinetic energy kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial as block was starting from rest so this term will be zero now minus mgh plus so we can directly put values now the value of m mass is given as 1 kg into g into h height ascended is 4 meter plus f along pq is 18 newton and s along pq displacement along pq is 4 3 and this would be 5 plus 0 is equal to kinetic energy final so ke final is equal to 50 joules and we have to give answer in the form n into 10 joules so the value of n is equal to 5 which will be our answer so we will now discuss question number 20 in question number 20 it is said that two airplanes a and b are moving such that their line of motion are making 30 degree and 60 degree respectively from horizontal now it is given that at t equal to 0 from a's point of view b is 500 meters away so let us assume airplane a was at this point and airplane b was at point b the distance between them is given as 500 meter as seen from a's frame and a sees b coming perpendicular to the motion of direction of motion of a so in a's frame velocity of b is perpendicular to velocity of a so what we are given is vb minus va is perpendicular to va so let's see what vb minus va is so vb is this velocity and minus va is opposite of va so this will be minus va now resultant of both these vectors is perpendicular to va that means their resultant is coming along this line that implies that component of this along this direction is cancelling out va so let's see what it is now this is given to be 30 degree so this will be 30 degree and whole angle is 60 degree therefore this angle would be 30 degree so what we are given is vb cos 30 is equal to va and magnitude of velocity of a is given as 100 root 3 therefore 
मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वीबी इन टू रूट थ्री बाय टू इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड रूट थ्री देर फोर मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वेलोसिटी ऑफ बी इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड मीटर पर सेकेंड नाउ एज सीन फ्रॉम ए फ्रेम वेलोसिटी ऑफ बी इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन सो लेट सी द कंपोनेंट ऑफ वेलोसिटी ऑफ बी अलॉन्ग दिस लाइन सो वी हैव वी बी परपेंडिकुलर टू वी ए इज इक्वल टू एज दिस विल हैव नो कंपोनेंट सो द नेट कंपोनेंट वुड बी वी बी साइन थर्टी which will be equal to 200 into 1 by 2 that is equal to 100 meter per second so a observes b coming at a speed of 100 meter per second towards it and at t equal to t naught they are just about to collide that means b reaches at this point at time t naught so t naught would be equal to distance upon speed that is equal to 5 second as both are traveling with constant velocity so acceleration of b with respect to a will also be zero so t naught would be distance upon time which is equal to 5 second and that is the answer of this question